In this project, I'll blink two LEDs. In Embryo, this is almost as easy as blinking one LED. I'll start with the results of the last tutorial, where I controlled one LED with a potentiometer, and just add another LED and potentiometer the same way. I plug this new LED into digital pin 5, and the new potentiometer into pin A3. I have the Blink LED Speed Control project open in Embryo. I save a copy of the project and call it Blink 2 LEDs Speed Control. I already have the node set up to blink an LED with a potentiometer controlling the speed, so I'm just going to make another copy for my new LED. Between the input and output nodes, there are four nodes. I don't want to have to have another copy of all these four nodes, so I'm going to turn these nodes into a function. I select all four of these nodes by holding down the shift key and either clicking on each node or dragging a box around them. I cut these nodes by using the right click menu or by pressing Control X on the keyboard. In the tree view, I right click on the agents folder and select New Function. A new blank node screen shows up. I paste the nodes onto it by pressing Ctrl V on my keyboard or using the right click menu. I also rename the function to Speed Controlled Blink by either right clicking on it in the tree and selecting Rename or by middle clicking on it. I go back to my agent and move the two remaining nodes closer together. I drag a copy of the new function onto the screen from the project tree. This added a node without any inputs or outputs. I go back to the function node screen by either selecting its tab or by double clicking on its node. Next to the inputs and outputs on nodes, there are some button icons. The one on the left makes that input or output exposed to other agents. I click on that icon for the activation input on the transform number node and the activation output on the switch. In the bottom right of the screen is a button that says save and update function instances. I click on that to save my function and update the node on the agent screen. If I go back to the agent, I can see that my function node now has an input and output. I connect up the input and output nodes to it, and now my program is working again. Now to finish my project, I select these three nodes, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C or using the right click menu, then paste a copy using Ctrl V or the menu. Finally, I have to change the pin numbers on the new nodes. On the input node, I select pin 3, and on the output node, I select pin 5. Then I refresh the connection program. Now both LEDs blink and can each be controlled by its own potentiometer.